What's up, everybody? Tonight's ice cream review is all seven, that's right, seven of Ben & Jerry's new topped flavors. First and foremost, welcome back, long time, no talk. I know, you guys missed the ice cream reviews. Fact is, since I kind of steered away from the craft reviews and have stuck more towards retail, pickings have been mighty slim. There have not been that many releases, but it seems that, as good old JR would say, business is about to pick up. By God, Hellfire Brimstone, it's the Undertaker. Oh, sorry, that's an absolutely awful impression, but I'm very excited today. So uh, I also can't hear out of my left ear. I'm really congested, so if my voice sounds a little weird, I apologize in advance. In the background, you might hear a familiar sound if you're a parent um, or a toddler yourself watching this. Bravo. Uh, you hear the familiar sounds of ping pong in the background. Pink Fong currently is my babysitter, and uh, it's doing a very good job taking care of Brooklyn while I tell you guys about Ben & Jerry's newest products. So, a little background here. Uh, four or so years ago, I was in Vermont. I was graciously invited by Ben & Jerry's to tour their headquarters, and uh, when I was going back through the office, which is a, it's a, it's a once-in-a-lifetime experience, it's so great, so fantastic. I never thought I'd be there, and it was just so surreal. It's very cool. The office, they allow dogs. So there's a lot of, there's some dogs there. Uh, and that was probably the best part, but it was also ice cream. And you go through the offices and everybody kind of decorates their cubicles in, in different ways. And, and somebody had a pint of, I think one of the strawberry flavors of topped from the United Kingdom. And I looked over at it and I said, it. I was like, what's the deal guys? You know, we're America, the greatest country on earth. Why have we not gotten any top flavors? And they told me, Eric, you know, Never say never. Well, patience has paid off. Topped is here, and I'm excited to share my thoughts with you. So without further ado, we're going to get right into it. I'm going to start off. Okay, spoilers. Uh, I've already scooped these once. Uh, we did a Zoom yesterday with Ben & Jerry's and some other influencers, and we all uh, talked about it and asked questions. It was really cool. And also, Kelsey dug into them last night. And I've partook, I think that's a word, partook in the festivities. So I've got thoughts already on these. I am going to you know, delve in a little bit today because I can't help myself, frankly. So let's start off with Whiskey Biz. This is brown butter bourbon ice cream. Not the first time we've seen that one. With blonde brownies. Blondies, baby. Team Blondie. I'm Team Blondie. I know, I'm weird. And whiskey caramel swirls topped with white chocolatey ganache and white fudge chunks. Now, before I get into this, I want to tell you guys something. You're probably thinking, hey, doesn't Magnum already do this? They do have a topping. They do have a shell. But that is not what this is. This is a ganache. And I will demonstrate why it is different. So the Magnum, you will tap, 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 tap. Do you mind? As I was saying, you will tap, 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 and it will crackle and it will break. But this is ganache. It's thick. Two C's, definitely two C's. So dig in here, see, it's thick and it has a different texture. There's a slight crunch, but it's like, you know, tempered chocolate basically. And I gotta say, once again, no spoilers. Pretty sure this is my favorite flavor we're starting off with. Uh, the white chocolate ganache is delicious. But, sorry, I just grossed out with that. But, the caramel swirls and those blondies, man. That is what makes this flavor so, so good. And you're probably wondering, what's the booze level? Not very high. I mean... It's very, very faint. It's not a boozy ice cream whatsoever. It's more brown, more brown butter and caramel than anything else. We're starting this one off on a very strong note. I have yet to hit the bottom. Oh, there we go. I hit it. You guys can kind of see what we're talking about. Mix and draw on point. And this will be a recurring theme I'm gonna to touch on ad nauseum and that's that this flavor would have been good with or without the topped part i mean 
the brown butter ice cream, brown butter bourbon ice cream, the blondie chunks, the caramel. It's a great flavor, and it would be a great flavor without that ganache. I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10. Next up, Thick Mint. It is balking season, after all. So this is a mint ice cream with chocolate cookie swirls. Okay, the Oreo, you know, sandwich pieces. Mint chocolate cookie balls. Yes! Topped with chocolate cookies and chocolatey ganache. The mint chocolate cookie balls hold a special place in my heart because they were in the dearly departed chocolate peppermint crunch, one of the most underrated and one of the best IMO Ben & Jerry's flavors of all time. Definitely the best mint flavor they've ever made. Now, don't get me wrong. Mint ice cream is fine. It doesn't taste like toothpaste. There's plenty of chocolate. And I love those chocolate balls. But I wish it was a chocolate base. The mint ice cream, you guys have seen my reviews before. I prefer when it comes to peppermint, more chocolate. Not mint with a little bit of chocolate. So still solid stuff here. Not something I would seek out. Uh, I'm going to give this one a six. Out of 10. Next up, chocolate caramel cookie dough. Now we're talking, right? This one is chocolate ice cream with caramel swirls and gobs of chocolate chip cookie dough topped with caramel cups and chocolatey ganache. If you've seen my Ben & Jerry's reviews before, you already know what I'm gonna say. What's the weak spot of this ice cream? That's right, kids, good job, the base. Ben & Jerry's regular chocolate Leaves a lot to be desired. I think their milk chocolate's great, but for some reason, they use the regular chocolate in a lot of flavors. However, as milk toast as their chocolate ice cream is, this chocolate ganache is, I mean, oh, thick. See there? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. My complaint on this one, is that very uncharacteristically, at least in the side I've chosen, not a lot of caramel swirls. So a lot of chocolate. And I said, I'm not really a fan of the base, so I need some more swirls. This one, if I'm, if I'm thinking clearly, is probably my least favorite of the bunch, but I know a lot of you are gonna love it. I'm giving it a five out of 10. Next up, PB over the top. This is once again, unfortunately, chocolate ice cream, but it's got peanut butter swirls, peanut butter cups, and it's topped with mini peanut butter cups and chocolate ganache. So it's essentially like a spruced up version of chocolate peanut butter cup. Unlike chocolate caramel cookie dough, there's a great mix in density here. A lot of cups, a lot of swirl. You guys know how I roll. I love chocolate and peanut butter, so I'm a little more forgiving of the chocolate base here. I feel that if this was a peanut butter base, I would be head over heels in love with it, but it's not. It's the chocolate base. So I'm gonna give this one a six out of 10. Next up, salted caramel brownie. Vanilla ice cream, thankfully, with salted caramel swirls and fudge brownies topped with caramel cups and chocolatey ganache. As you can see, we got caramel swirls, we got the chocolate ganache, and some caramel cups up there. And as the ice cream tempers, so does the ganache. And it is very pleasant to eat as it gets softer. Like a couple of the other pints, I'm a little disappointed with the mix in density on this one. However, can't overstate how delicious the top part of this one is. I mean, everybody's experience is gonna be different, you know, but solid amount of swirl. I just wanted more brownie. I'm giving this one a six out of 10. Next up, tiramisu. Mascarpone ice cream with fudge swirls and shortbread pieces topped with espresso fudge chunks and chocolate ganache. Check it out. Really good mix in density on this one. This is a flavor that I wasn't sure about. I'm not a huge fan of the regular tiramisu, but man, ganache combined with 
a lot of mix-ins. Oh, no. Oh. Makes it a good time. Plus, marshmallow ice cream. This is a sleeper one for me. Didn't think I was going to like it that much. Ended up liking it a decent amount. I'm giving it a 7 out of 10. Last, but certainly not least, strawberry topped tart. This one is sweet cream ice cream. Sweet cream ice cream with strawberry swirls and pie crust pieces topped with white chocolate ganache and candy sprinkles. This one's definitely the most colorful of the bunch. Very fun. Uh, kids are gonna love this one, I think. Ganache is delicious. But once again, just like with Whiskey Biz, this is a flavor that even if it didn't have the top, I would still absolutely love it. This thing, and, and this says a lot about the flavor because I typically don't gravitate towards very sweet flavors like this, but they nailed it. They knocked this one out of the park for sure. So when you get the strawberry swirl and you get the pie crust pieces, it tastes like a Pop-Tart, a strawberry Pop-Tart in ice cream form. And it's delicious. And just like with Whiskey Biz, even if this didn't have the ganache, I would still love it. I still think it's a fantastic flavor. It's one of the best fruit flavors I think Ben & Jerry's has ever done. I'm giving this one a nine out of 10. So there you have it, a veritable mixed bag, which is to be expected when you review seven pints of ice cream. Now, as always, if you're new to this channel, I'm gonna give you this spiel that I always give at the end of the reviews. Your mileage is gonna vary. Taste is completely subjective. I'm just one guy who's eating a lot of ice cream and it's a pretty high bar. Like my standards are very high. So when you hear me give something a five or six, it doesn't mean it's bad. It means that I don't wanna go back and crush the whole pint. Closer you get that, to that 10 out of 10, the more addictive a flavor is to me, the harder it is for me to stop. Whiskey Biz and Strawberry Pop-Tart are definitely the stars of the show for me, but you're just gonna have to try them all and find out. They should be dropping now in stores, so good luck. You're gonna have to be like, I have a feeling you're gonna have to be like Thanos hunting all the Infinity Stones because finding all seven in one store at the same time is highly unlikely, but the hunt this is part of the fun. Just make sure to wear a mask and wash your hands and uh, stay safe out there. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.